When I was eight years old, I was sexually abused. Because of that sexual abuse, I took it upon myself to feel a lot of shame and a lot of guilt. That shame and guilt was intensified when, as an eight-year-old, I blamed myself for breaking these covenants that I had made when I was baptized. I would pray and I would cry and I would ask God for forgiveness and that forgiveness never came. I never got the promised sense of comfort. I never experienced any release from the guilt. It affected my self-esteem, it affected my confidence, it affected the way that I felt comfortable interacting with people. And that was all because I felt like I wasn't worth it to God. I wasn't worth it for God to just give me some little warm feeling and make me feel comforted. When I was 17 years old, I began realizing I am the one in control over how I feel and that I shouldn't be waiting for some God to forgive me, that that forgiveness had to first come from myself. And once I realized that, I realized that I didn't believe in God and if God didn't exist, it was only up to me to forgive myself and to love myself. All of that pain and guilt and shame I had experienced, it was up to me to release. As I released that shame and guilt, I started to understand myself better and I started to realize things about myself that I hadn't allowed myself to realize because I was so caught up in the turmoil of shame. I realized that I was gay and that I was completely and totally comfortable with that. With these two realizations, that the belief in God didn't work for me and that I'm absolutely comfortable being an out gay individual. I was able to experience love from my family and from my friends that I had never been able to experience. When I began loving myself, I began to let other people love me. Right now I'm a student at Utah Valley University and this upcoming fall, I'm putting together a program that's kind of a come out of the closet. It's safe out here. Even in Utah Valley, where there is a lot of oppression and a lot of people have experienced exactly what I've experienced, it's very important that as a community and those of us who have experienced this and who have been able to move forward in our lives, that we get to come out to one another and show people that they are loved regardless of their sexuality, regardless of their gender, regardless of their religious affiliations, and to bring people who also don't believe in God together and we can all support one another and be that very support system that the Mormon Church promised itself it would be for me. I'm Emily, I'm queer, and I'm happily an ex-Mormon.